Art. So uh, today, uh, this talk is about continuous integration of the free BSD project, and uh, I'm Li Wen Xu. Yeah. So yeah. Firstly, uh, something about me. Uh, I'm from Taiwan, and uh, my Chinese name is Xu uh, Li Wen. And I'm from Taiwan, uh, as known as Formosa. I'm a system administrator. I'm an instructor to teach uh, system and uh, network administration while uh, at the college. And uh, I'm a programmer. I'm also a traveler, scuba diver. And in the winter, I do snowboarding. And in the spring and the autumn, I uh, ride road bikes. Yep. So uh, it takes about 15, more than 15 hours to get from Taipei to Ottawa. Yeah, a long trip. So uh, my first BSD can, which is in uh, 2014, the keynote said, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, thanks for the free BSD developers, we have a, a rigorous engineering process. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. So, uh, but, uh, there shouldn't be a ceiling, so we always need a more higher quality of FreeBSD. So uh, what do we want? We want a higher quality release, and uh, we want the, the current branch is always buildable. We want a stable branch is always reliable. And uh, besides that, we want the uh, developer development process being faster and faster. Yeah. So uh, in software development, uh, there is a word that they uh, uh, need to release early, release often. How to do that is trying to uh, test early and test often. Yeah. So uh, um, inter inter integration test is very important, not only for unit test. So something like this, unit test is not enough because we still need to do integration test or something just failed. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we need to do uh, integration test continu continuously. Yeah. So uh, in 90s, uh, Grandy Bush uh, invent or start using uh, continuous integration CI this term. And uh, so it is just a software engineering practice of merging all developer working copies to a shared uh, mainline several times a day. So uh, the reason is uh, that we can know the conflicts and know the bugs earlier, as early as possible. Yeah. So uh, on Wikipedia, uh, uh, it summarizes some best practice of continuous integration. Yeah. So, uh, so let's look inside those uh, items. Firstly, uh, we do this from the beginning. We have subversion.freebc.org. So, uh, yeah, a good start. Then, because we are an open source OS project, so there are some items not very uh, applicable here. Yeah, just close it out. And uh, so what we need is uh, we need an automatic build. Uh, we should make each build self-testing, and uh, every commit to the, to the main trunk should be built. And uh, we want every uh, the build is faster. And uh, uh, it is easy to get uh, the latest uh, results from, from each build. And uh, everyone can see the results uh, of, of the build. Yeah. So uh, not only the artifact created by build, but also the status, the uh, uh, warnings, or anything from the build. So uh, that divides two into two parts. Uh, for the first uh, four items, which can be uh, provided by, by, by a good uh, continuous integration system. And then the last two items, uh, which need help from everybody. So yeah, uh, we need everybody to work on to make each commit test before commit. And uh, then uh, we need some more work to make our build uh, faster. Yeah, there are still many parts of our system cannot be uh, be built parallelly. So there are still many rooms to 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 improve. Yeah. So uh, firstly, automatic build and uh, some uh, history of our uh, continuous integration. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, start from 2002 to 2014, there's a service called the Tinderbox, uh, which is built by DAS. Uh, the URL is uh, tinderbox.freebsd.org. And it probably started in March 2002. I dig into our mail archives. So first mail from the Tinderbox is, uh, can be tra tracked back to it. And it probably stopped in September 2014 because the last uh, mail from it and uh, the web pages stopped there. Yeah. So uh, it is open source. Uh, Available, all the code is available on our subversion, and uh, it is well documented in the uh, FreeBSD documentation project and uh, on wiki page. So it is how it looked like. Yeah, see, uh, it just stopped in somewhere in September 2014. Yeah. So uh, in 2013, uh, Craig uh, starts a a group called the Jenkins Admin, and uh, current we have Batis, Brad, Brooks, Craig, me, and uh, Steve in uh, in in this group, and uh, we have some alumni, uh, Julio, Steven, and Tyler are hand. So uh, first the working group was in BSD Can uh, 2014, and then uh, stopped for a while, but uh, it. Uh, Resume the uh, things last uh, Europe BSD con and uh, yeah we also had the uh, Dev Summit uh, Dev Summit uh, yesterday. So for more information, just check out the uh, wiki page, and uh, we also have a to do list on the wiki page. Yeah, feel free to add something or just discuss with us. So uh, yeah, we are using Jenkins currently. Current, currently, Jenkins is probably the most well-known and the probably the de facto standard of the CI in the industry. So uh, it's an open source automation server written in Java by uh, Kosuke. Yeah, and uh, uh, website is Jenkins.io. So it's just a, a Java daemon that uh, automatically uh, human, non-human part of the whole software development process. So uh, we use it for continuous integration and it even can do continuous delivery. So while it works, we also use Jenkins to develop our uh, web service onto the production environment. So the best part of it is uh, Jenkins can be extended by various plugins. Yeah, it is the best part of it. Yeah. So uh, along with uh, Jenkins admin group created, uh, of course, we have Jenkins.freebsd.org, which is, of course, a Jenkins website. And uh, 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 it starts to check out our code and build it. So uh, it, at first, it pre periodically builds and tests the FreeBSD source and the document documentation trees for the old uh, supported uh, branches. And uh, the architectures, by then, it builds <coughs> MD64, AI386, and the Spark64. And uh, we also have a GCC build, uh, which, uh, which is leverage the close tool chain. So uh, we are using ND64 to close build ND64 itself. Yeah. So yeah, the, and the, the most of the code is available at uh, uh, FreeBSD CI repository at uh, FreeBSD organization on GitHub. Yeah. So uh, this is how it looks like. And uh, starts from last year, right after BSD can, uh, I I started a new uh, web new site called ci.freebd.org under the help by uh, foundation. Foundation supports the the, the hardware, and uh, which is also based on Jenkins. But uh, I'm trying to uh, improve and. Uh, experiment some new ideas and the features and uh, trying to fix the uh, annoying part uh, we learned from Jenkins.freebz.org. Uh, 
The, one of the uh, interesting part is we introduced uh, a server called Artifact Server. So, uh, because during the each part, each phase of the uh, a pipeline, uh, there are many um, object files or artifact files uh, need to pass between those files. Right now, we just uh, upload everything onto a server and uh, uh, not only for passing those uh, files between each uh, faces, but also we can uh, let people to download those files and the test uh, and or do anything they want. So we introduced an artifact server, which will be uh, discussed more later. And, uh, we create a, we create some job template to try to make uh, each build jobs more organized. So. And uh, yeah, now every, everything is also on uh, FreeBSD CI repository on GitHub. Yeah. So um, a basic, uh, basic uh, build pipeline is like this. Uh, uh, of course, firstly, we need to build a code. Then uh, we create a test, uh, test a virtual machine image. And uh, then we run this image with Beehive to 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 uh, run the real testers in inside the virtual machine. After the test end, that virtual machine gets shut down, and uh, we extract the resource from from uh, these disk images. And uh, besides this, we also introduce two uh, two more jobs. One is uh, linked to build the linked kernel, make sure uh, uh, more part of the kernel is tested, uh, at least buildable. And uh, we also have another job called uh, images, uh, which is creating a, a ordinary virtual machine image for people to try the latest snapshot more easy. So uh, automatic, automatic build on ci.freebd.org contains uh, two jobs. One is build job and another is linked, uh, as uh, we mentioned in a previous, previous slide. So um, the scripts to execute land is under uh, scripts slash build directory. Uh, one is build work and kernel.sh. Another is build kernel linked.sh. So, uh, honestly, nothing special, just uh, passing those environment uh, variables and uh, execute make. Yeah. So, about the self-test, uh, we use Kuya, which is a testing framework for infrastructure software uh, created by Julio, who is, uh, who is uh, both NetBSD and the FreeBSD developer. The repository is also on GitHub, uh, Julio slash Kuga. Uh, it is well also well document, documented. Uh, uh, you can follow the Quick Start Wiki page. Or Julio uh, gave a nice tutorial at HRBSDCon 2014. So you can just look at the materials there. And uh, uh, this is what we run test. And uh, where we run the test, so we use Beehive, uh, the BSD hypervisor, and uh, which uh, is in FreeBSD since 10.0. And uh, on, uh, on ci.freebsd.org, we have two jobs to create uh, virtual machine images for Beehive. One is uh, images, and, and another is uh, test VN job, which just build two kinds of uh, uh, virtual machines. Or, or we say uh, images builds uh, ordinary virtual machine image and uh, uh, test a VM job just uh, extend that uh, virtual machine image with some pre-installed uh, Kuya in the test files and uh, we also configure it to run uh, test while uh, as soon as it boots okay and uh, oh and uh, for risk file architecture, we run it in Q, uh, QMU. So putting those things together, uh, firstly, we create a virtual machine image through those uh, uh, jobs. And uh, yeah, we pre-install Kuya and the test files under 
user user slash tests, and we customize uh, slash etc slash rc local file to run tests and uh, generate test reports, and uh, finally shut down the virtual machine, <coughs> and uh, 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 everything is under uh, uh, scripts slash build directory directory. And uh, besides of this, uh, these scripts also uh, uh, extract the resource from that disk image. Yeah. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, first script is uh, building the test image, and uh, the second script run tests. The sh is for uh, double the virtual machine extract the resource. So how to access those test results? Uh, we worked with Julio and uh, make Kuya can produce many non-human readable outputs. Yeah, uh, this is called the JUnit format output, which is uh, basically an XML file. And uh, uh, this is not human readable, but uh, after it is passed by Jenkins, it can create a beautiful um, uh, report. So yeah, under each job, uh, each build, uh, you can have a, slash, a URL slash test report. So you can see the test results. From here, you can see uh, three, uh, three test fails in previous build has been fixed. And uh, 64 has been skipped. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is how the result look like. So, and then for the t failed test case, uh, it also has a nice display. Display you can uh, browsing into the uh, each test results and then see the error message and uh, what's on the standard output. And uh, we also uh, keep track of the history of the uh, test results, so you can see the number of the cases, test cases and uh, the status of the, the, the test in each build. And uh, yeah, for artifacts, which is generated in, in, in the each uh, phase of the pipeline, uh, we have three kinds of artifacts for now. Uh, first one is the disk files, uh, uh, which is uh, similar or which is identical to what we have on official FTP server. So uh, those are uh, uh, base or kernel .txz files. So you can just grab them and uh, uh, install to test. And uh, we also use those uh, distribution files to create uh, disk images for the uh, virtual machine or the test virtual machine. Yeah. So uh, other downstream, um, downstream phase in the pipeline is just executing those uh, virtual machine images. And uh, uh, for external users can just download those files to do analysis, to debug or do follow tests. Yeah. Right. So artifact.cl.freebc.org uh, has two interfaces. Uh, one is used for those Jenkins job to upload artifacts. So we patched the, the Jenkins uh, plugin to make this support TOS transmission for security reason, obviously. And uh, another is uh, HTTP uh, interface for uh, downstream jobs to download artifact from the upstream and uh, external users can also use this interface to download whatever they want. Okay, so uh, open configurations. Yeah, we want our setup can be reproduced by uh, others. So uh, we want to make, uh, and another goal is we want to make jobs creation is uh, easier because we find that not everyone knows and uh, has to know or uh, wants to know how to configure Jenkins, uh, which is uh, somehow tedious. And, uh, and we also found that those build jobs are 
most uh, have most parts in common, just difference in some uh, uh, some arguments. So uh, we create a job template. Uh, a job template does three things: uh, set up the build environment, execute the specific build script for that job, and uh, finally is clean up the environment. So for environment stand up, uh, which can also contains three steps. First is check out the latest source code, then set out needed version of FreeBSD. Oh, uh, we try to run every job inside the GL and uh, clean create created the GL to make sure everything is uh, uh, beautiful from scratch and uh, not be affected by previously leftovers. And uh, yeah, we also need to, in, inside that GL, we also install the required packages for, for the spatial need of that job. Yeah. And uh, um, by default, Jenkins configuration can be only done by uh, its web interface. And uh, uh, the configuration files is stored as um, XML files on the disk, which is not very easy to manipulate and uh, maintain. And, and uh, after some research, we found that uh, from OpenStack project, they, is, they created a project called the Jenkins Drop Builder. Uh, what it does is very simple. Uh, it uh, simp it uh, defines a, a YAML file syntax and uh, uh, re they create a, a Python script to read those YAML files and uh, 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 configure Jenkins through its uh, uh, web service interface. So uh, we can just check those X YAML files um, in any uh, source code control system we like and uh, use uh, Jenkins Job Builder to manipulate the job configuration for uh, edit, um, update, or create and delete. So uh, currently, we, uh, every job is configured by uh, is using Jenkins Job Builder YAML to, to, to configure. And the files are all in uh, JJB directory in our FreeBDCI repository. Yeah. So uh, basically, a uh, basic job definition is like this. Uh, this is the example of a uh, scan build job. And uh, uh, this is the big picture of what it looks like. And uh, it, uh, basically, each line of it is uh, a marker. And uh, the marker definition is in uh, other parts of the YAML file. The most important part of this uh, YAML file is executed in jail because uh, following we will, uh, we will introduce uh, Execute in jail script set, uh, which does the, the, the build job. Yeah. So uh, building jail script sets uh, is, is under uh, script jail directory. And uh, what it does is simplify the clean environment setup. So uh, basically, uh, 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 a, a job execution contains three steps. Set out the environment, execute the whatever you want inside that jail, and the clean up that jail. So, and uh, uh, we inside that jail, we install to do by default. So, uh, 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 you can, uh, you can, you can um, use root. You can execute your job as root and uh, um, configure the environment uh, in a limited, limited, uh, limited way. So, a uh, typical job configuration contains uh, three files. First is the uh, build.sh, which is the mandatory. Uh, this is the build main build script. So, you just put everything you want to execute in that file. Another two files is jail.conf and the pkg list. Jail.conf is the um, um, configurations of the, the 
uh, execution environment, and the PKG list just contains every uh, package you want to use the inside Lagio. Okay, so uh, after we create this template, uh, adding a new job becomes very easy. So submitters just bring their own build scripts uh, and the configurations. So those three files or just uh, build.sh to, to us. So or uh, if other configuration files uh, is needed, just uh, bring everything to us, such as uh, source.conf or make.conf. And uh, 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 ideally, uh, it can be submit as a uh, GitHub pull request. And uh, what we Jenkins and Minters is just merge your job into uh, the job directory and uh, we create a new uh, entry in Jenkins job builder YAML files and push it to the uh, production Jenkins then it's done uh, Jenkins your Jenkins job will uh, is killed uh, by on demand so uh, this is an example of the on 64 build so for geo.conf we need uh, ND64 as the geo uh, environment and uh, uh, 32 bit support is not necessary and uh, the geo version is uh, 11.0. Uh, for PKG list, uh, we just put uh, on ARC64 being utils. Uh, yeah, I know that it is not needed anymore, but. Uh, it's an uh, example to show how to install the uh, required packages. And uh, build.sh just, uh, 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 just execute make word because we uh, extract the uh, common, common commands of a build word and the kernel uh, into another shell script. So uh, building on 64 is just uh, passing the necessary uh, uh, arguments to that script. Okay, and uh, besides this, uh, uh, ordinary jobs, we also make uh, job builder. Uh, this is cute in jail job state supports a mode called quarantine mode uh, because in some sometimes we need to uh, build or execute commands from. Uh, external, which means uh, less traceable sources. So, uh, specify quarantine equals one to jail.conf. Uh, what we do is uh, you, um, uh, make a jail and isolated environment. So, after install all the requirement uh, packages, we just uh, reconfigure the jail and uh, remove. Uh, internet connection or other de external dependence dependencies. So, and now we also limit the job resource from job configuration uh, more strictly. Uh, first of this is uh, job execution time. We just configure it to uh, limit for 90 minutes. And uh, uh, after 90 mi minutes, there will be an absolute uh, fail occurs to uh, stop everything. So about other integrations of uh, our uh, um, CI environment. So uh, firstly, and uh, is notifications. Notification um, content, which is very simple, but uh, also very hard because we need to determine uh, uh, how, when, and what to notify it. And uh, basically, uh, a notify comes notify occurs when bad things happen, but also uh, when bad things end, uh, uh, things got fixed, uh, we also send a notification to tell everybody everything is fine. And uh, how to notify? Currently, uh, uh, it is not uh, turned on on ci.freebd.org, but uh, uh, after uh, after we have more confident with this, we will use uh, email notification and uh, IRC to to tell developers bad things happened. And uh, what to notify? Uh, we notify people about the changes since last build to that 
people to figure out, okay, what uh, changes makes bad things. And uh, uh, the tail of the console output to more easy to, to get an idea. And uh, that's for build. And for test the job, we just uh, give people the, the names and the output of those test cases. Yeah, so um, email notification is somehow uh, somehow annoying if we c cannot, we, if we uh, can configure that very carefully. So um, yeah, this is the screenshot of uh, from last year. Yeah, you see on the current mailing list, uh, most of the senders are Jenkins admin. Yeah, so uh, some kind of annoying. So uh, uh, because it's annoying, so probably nobody reads it. And uh, if nobody reads it, it's totally not used. And uh, so we need to uh, reduce false positives. Um, and uh, we found an um, email extension plugin, which can uh, uh, send notification, uh, uh, execute some scripts before uh, notification is sent. So uh, we read some Groovy script to add some uh, patterns that is uh, uh, mostly, uh, mostly patterns are um, Jenkins internal errors. So we just filled out those uh, false positives before sending uh, mails to, to everyone. And uh, for the contents, we also use uh, email extension plugin to customize mail body. Uh, so the template for failed or unstable build jobs is like this. Uh, uh, of course, there's uh, uh, a, t a title, and then we provide necessary uh, URL information to, 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 to users, and uh, some uh, the change summaries and the build log. So an um, example is look like this. Uh, this job is fails, and uh, the uh, necessary URLs, uh, change summaries, and the uh, output of the build log. And uh, for the failed or and un unstable test cases, uh, basically are the same, but uh, uh, at the end, uh, we are not just telling uh, the build log, but also uh, give the, the, the details of the failed cases. So things looks like this. Uh, there are two fa test cases failed. So uh, uh, following is the, the test case name and the error messages. And uh, another thing we have done is uh, integrate with the, our code review system, uh, Fabricator. So we have a job to, to, to execute uh, the pages from uh, to test uh, the pages from from Fabricator, and uh, which is done by uh, Fabricator differential plugin. Uh, it is first firstly created by Uber, but uh, at first uh, it supports only Git, uh, and we page it, and uh, which is get upstream. Uh, uh, we page it to to support subversion, which we were using. We are using and uh, uh, it gets upstream uh, a few months ago. So um, that build job is like this. So we still have many builds is queued. And uh, uh, next to the, each build, there is a differential number attached with it. And if we uh, click to, to a build, a build page, it will contain. It contains the, the detail of the the uh, different differential in informations uh, retrieved from from fabricator. So yeah, this is an example. So at the fabricator side, uh, it will. It also has the build status uh, uh, status uh, uh, displayed on each differential. So uh, after the job complete, that build status will become a uh, green line or red line means uh, successful or, or, or failed. Yeah. 
And we also uh, create a job using clan scan build to uh, perform um, uh, static, st statical analyzing. So yeah, it's basically using a scan build scan uh, build from claim project and uh, we also use uh, bsd.claimanalyze.mk which is imported from NetBSD so we just execute uh, it and uh, specify the output directory and uh, specify we need uh, HTML output so uh, the result is like this yeah. uh, 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 have the uh, the the type of the the problem and the which file has 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 problems and uh, the path and the the descript descriptions. Uh, clan scan build produce a very detailed uh, uh, output of each uh, each problem it finds. So yeah, people can uh, go through those files and uh, trying to uh, improve our code quality. And uh, uh, that is for our C codes. And for our documentation, thanks to uh, Warren, who wrote a, a, a tool called Eager, and uh, which can uh, do proofread, uh, do linked of our main page or XML file documentation files. And uh, um, um, uh, because my day job is a Java programmer, and uh, we use uh, trick style to check the Java files. So uh, I and uh, Warren uh, uh, can, uh, came out an uh, uh, idea. Why not just page eager to produce a uh, trick style output? Then we can use the Jenkins trick style plugin to display those warnings. So uh, the result is like this. Uh, for for the document documentation tree, we not only build a uh, documentation tree to make it, make sure it's buildable, we also create another job to execute uh, eager on each documentation file and uh, provide a, a warning or, uh, or and yeah, mostly a warning uh, results for people to improve the documentation quality. So yeah. So there is also a history uh, trend uh, to let us know what things getting better and better or worse and worse. And uh, yeah, not only for um, for statistical analysis and uh, the quality of the the documentation, uh, we also uh, during the build we also collect the warnings, compile the warnings from Clean or GCC. So. Uh, it is basically the same, very similar output. So we have a file and uh, the severity of the of the warning, and uh, yeah, we also have we also have trend to keep track of the history. And uh, finally, we uh, use a uh, uh, build state space page to let people can embed. Uh, the build status to 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 other websites. So for on sixty four, we um, yeah on on sixty four wiki page we have the head and the stable eleven uh, build status, and uh, which is also used by the risk five org, and uh, on the uh, freebd page of risk five page there is also a page uh, a page. Uh, status the current FreeBSD head building state of uh, risk of fire. So uh, other Jenkins job we used uh, internally is uh, we firstly we used uh, so SCM sync configuration to keep track of the uh, uh, there are some system-wide global uh, Jenkins configuration, which is uh, um, not is not controlled by Jenkins job builder, and uh, some of it then are uh, even uh, contains contains sensitive data, so uh, which cannot be published to to the public. So uh, we just put 
those configurations uh, into a, a private uh, source code management, management repository. And uh, we also use we also use self restart to make sure uh, we only restart Jenkins while no other jobs are running uh, to prevent uh, false positives. And uh, finally, some people suggest us to install green boards because um, uh, Jenkins, by default, it uses blue, bo uh, blue lights to indicate job successful, but uh, uh, green, green is more 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 people like <laughs> like more uh, intu intuitive to 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 people so yeah everything is why to that and uh, finally i would say uh jenkins so we also use some uh, leverage uh jenkins rest api so um for the uh, almost every URL you can append slash API to get the uh, REST API documentation. So you can uh, retrieve information from, from, from our server. So yeah, this is an example to, to get uh, latest uh, good to build the revision of FreeBSD. So you can just uh, 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 yeah, use curl to, to retrieve this just an output and uh, pass to JQ and uh, get the latest buildable version uh, revision. And uh, by use that, we uh, thanks to the foundation intern Shiva and uh, uh, we create a, a similar view with uh, Tinderbox. So uh, you can see the, the current status of each architecture and the each branches. Yes, currently our uh, 32 bits, 32 bits uh, on head is broken. Yeah, for now. Right, so finally, uh, the summary. Um, continuous integration does really uh, help the, the development, development of the FreeBD project. Uh, for the past year, I keep poking developers to fix the, 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 the code, which they just forgot to test. And uh, uh, we accumulate uh, much experiment experience about that. So we hope those ex experiment experience and uh, the code can uh, also help other projects. Yeah, there are always lots of the future work. Uh, firstly, I want everybody can join and help to test FreeBSD. Uh, we are on FreeBSD testing mailing list, and uh, on EFNet, uh, there is a FreeBSD CI channel. And uh, in the near future, we want to use these mechanisms to check for the produce build, and we want to have more testers. Even some testers are not uh, uh, enabled by default. So, such as uh, the test for DTRS. Um, yeah. And uh, we also want to build for the project branches for uh, people more easy to test uh, new, new experimental branches in bra uh, project branch. Because uh, uh, in previous week, uh, people can only uh, check out it by itself and uh, build everything. If we uh, also connect selected uh, branches to our CI system, we can also pr uh, produce uh, artifacts, VN images for those branches and uh, make other people more easy to test. And uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Steve Wells, he starts to work on CI for ports. So yeah, we are trying to uh, revive or trying to uh, do something like our um, uh, previous red ports. And uh, from the port management team, they also want uh, we can uh, help the XP, uh, XP1 process to make it more uh, 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 it automatically. Yeah. And uh, uh, Brad, who is working on the network performance tests. And uh, finally, we also want to work with other projects, such as other BSDs or uh, other downstream projects to 
make uh, those ecosystem more uh, complete. Yeah. So finally, uh, thanks to the colleagues on Jenkins administra uh, administration team, and uh, thanks for Fibility Foundation to buy us lots of the machines to do the work. And uh, thanks for the class admin to, to help us to set up those machines. And uh, thanks for Fabricator admin to uh, work with the fabric Fabricator integration. And uh, thanks everyone on testing current stable mailing list to help the test project. Okay, that's all. I'm happy to take the questions. Thanks. Yes? Oh, excuse me? Uh, is there an ID to support testing banks from GitHub, like the, the graphics? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't really understand. Is, uh, is there any intention to test branches that are in GitHub instead of subversion? Uh, intentions? Um, I will always reply yes. And, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I need to even the Git branches on uh, FreeBSD Git uh, repository on GitHub. I was going to think, right, well, one well, thing I, I can think of the, the DRM next branch. Huh? The, as the, the FreeBSD based graphics branch, but uh, I think that will work graphics cards. You mean the free, what, what branch? It's easy. The, the DRM next branch. Oh, DRM branch. Okay. Um, well, uh, if we if you really need that, and uh, uh, I can quickly to create a, a job and uh, which uh, just check out, yeah, because we can just switch the uh, source control system of that job from subversion to whatever. Of course, uh, Git. To, to and to check out the uh, specify the branch and uh, run the stand test uh, or just f build for it, yeah, yeah. Of uh, course, it's doable. Yeah, I don't know if, it, if, it, if it's of much use. Uh, well, the only limitation is the computing power. So if it, it is really uh, needed, we can try to make a foundation to buy more <laughs> more hardware for us. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, if I just want to build a single test VM, <coughs> test image like you do, that just boots, runs the tests, mm -hmm. and that's it, um, what is the minimal set of things that I need to do? Is it just like a script that I run from your previous DCI repository, or are there changes in the build system that I can type make test image or something? Uh, if you ju if you just want to build an uh, ordinary um, uh, VM image, uh, there are some scripts on the release directory. And uh, if you want to have uh, test uh, scripts and uh, test files building, uh, yeah, just run the, the scripts on the free BDCI scripts. Okay. Yeah. And so that will build a VM which boots automatically Yes, right. or oh, it will be shut down automatically. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Uh, about how many branches are you covering right now? Right now, uh, all the supported branches. So, yeah, this is all the branches and the architectures we test for now. Yeah, we definitely like to, to extend to other supported uh, tier one to tier three brand, uh, architectures, but uh, uh, that needs some more work and uh, some more hardware resources. And roughly how many people are committing in like commit rate average in these branches? Hmm? This, 
How many commits per day in each of these branch? Uh, Order of magnitude. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure. Probably need to uh, dig into the subversion history. Uh, I rough. I thought uh, currently we produce uh, probably thirty to fifty, yeah, uh, uh, snapshots build per day, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, any other questions? Uh, uh, just a quick question like that: How do you integrate with a tool like Puria? How do you work with Pudria? Did you actually try to build it with Pudria? Uh, the package builder? Or? Yeah. Oh, uh, currently, no. And uh, Steve has, has tried, uh, but uh, um, uh, which is not very practical. And we are trying to improve this. Yeah, we for the dev summit yesterday, we have some new ideas and uh, will be tried in the uh, following weeks. So, uh, any other? Oh, yeah. So, um, <coughs> when there is a commercially available uh, risk type hardware that's suitable for this, and, and likewise with the uh, ARM64, uh -huh. you see, um, <coughs> depending on Java and the build pipeline being um, an issue, if, if, say, you wanted to do native builds or something like that? Or you mean, uh, how do we build uh, RISC V and the ARM64? Or? Well, yes, yeah, so you said you use KMU. Yes. Is there ever a point where you'll be running uh, you know, the, the CI on a, on, on on native hardware or, or RISC-V native? Uh, uh, let me repeat your question. Are you asking about is it possible to run uh, uh, architectures like risc or R64 on native machines, native uh, hardware? Right. Of x86. Right. So um, the spawner machine, uh -huh. you ever see that being like ARM or, or RISC-V uh, in the future? Is that desirable or is that. Uh, to run test uh, on, on a physical machine? Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it is possible. And uh, which, uh, yeah, uh, in fact, at least it is on our uh, roadmap. But uh, this requires some more spatial hardware. Yeah, we need to uh, probably need a JTAG or so to uh, automatically uh, install a new image on that board and uh, um, uh, collect console output and uh, maybe another power controller to rebuild that board, uh, to reboot that board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in, in that case, so you're running the Jenkins Java uh, on the platform. Yeah. Honestly, you, you can just use a SSH. You don't actually need a. You can just spoke mental SSH. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Or uh, the, the, the build slave uh, can still be AX86, 86, but uh, 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 we just connect uh, those development board to that machine, and uh, that slave just execute commands through the connection of that board. Yeah. That's it. So uh, since no question now, thanks everybody again.